With its 47,000 spin-offs and globe-trotting production crew, 90 Day Fiancé has turned out over a lot of rocks and uncovered a lot of very strange specimens for our amusement. But no oddball was captured the attention of viewers quite like Big Ed Brown. Ed, as you probably know, is not actually big. In fact, he stands just 4 feet 11 inches, which is so short that it very nearly qualifies him for disability benefits. But despite his lack of height and a host of medical issues, Ed does work. In fact, when he first started courting Rosemary Vega, he had two jobs. Obviously, the romance between 54-year-old Ed and 23-year-old Rosemary didn't work out. Rosemary dumped Ed for a number of valid reasons, not the least of which is that he told her she had bad breath, he couldn't stop insulting her home country, and he rubs mayonnaise in his hair like he's making a freaking egg salad sandwich on his scalp. The dissolution of the relationship probably came as quite a blow to Ed. He says that before Rosemary, he hadn't been romantically involved with a woman in the several decades since his daughter was born. Call us crazy, but we have a very easy time believing that. But anyway, in the world of reality television, great heartbreak often leads to great opportunity. When we were first introduced to Ed, he was working as a photographer and interior decorator. He seemed to be flourishing in both gigs. Brown holds a master's degree from the New School of Architecture and Design, and his work has taken him all over the world, but he also lives in one of America's most expensive cities, San Diego, which explains why he was living in a very compact Big Ed-sized house. But from a financial standpoint, Ed is doing better than ever these days. Thanks to 90 Day, his Instagram following has ballooned to a whopping 400,000. Remember when he used to get mad at Rosemary for having 1,000 Facebook friends? While he's not yet earning a living as a full-time influencer, Ed has found creative ways to cash in on his newfound fame. He recently launched Big Ed Wear, a clothing and merchandise line that features shirts, hats, glassware and wall art, most of which features the likeness of either Ed or his beloved poodle Teddy. Combined with his earnings from 90 Day, cast members pull in somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,500 per episode, plus $2,500 for tell-alls, Brown should be making enough from his various business ventures to pull himself back from the brink of financial collapse. Brown filed for bankruptcy in both 2004 and 2017, allegedly claiming six figures in debt on both occasions. At this point, Ed is doing well enough that he can afford to give back. According to the Big Ed Wear website, a portion of the proceeds from all sales go to the March of Dimes and Stomp Out Bullying. Ed suffers from Klippel Fail Syndrome, and he says he was brutally bullied for his deformities while growing up. So Ed's finances are finally back on track, and he's doing some charity work to make up for his troubling behavior on 90 Day. But the most important development in his life is undoubtedly his repaired relationship with daughter Tiffany. Ed talked about Ghost and Tiffany to pursue his relationship with Rosemary during a 90 Day tell-all, but amazingly, it seems she's forgiven him. Here's hoping Brown doesn't mess things up again when he inevitably lands a role on one of the show's many spin-offs. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.